Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I'm doing a single eyeshadow tag. This is a collaboration with Kendra Morgan Official and Marta's Makeup here on YouTube. Their links to their channels are going to be in the description box down below. Go check out what they have to say for this single eyeshadow tag. If you guys are new here, my name is Stacy, and I like to focus on duped eyeshadows, drugstore makeup, and makeup reviews that give you kind of an insight into what's good and what's not. If you guys want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel and let's get on into the questions for the single eyeshadow palette. Single, single eyeshadow tag palette. Question number one, how many singles slash depotted eyeshadows do I have? There's a lot. So I actually have, I went through like this whole kick where I depotted all of my Deck of Scarlet like eye face palettes and I wanted to put those all into one like magnetic palette because I was just sick of, you know, reaching for one shade in one palette, one shade in another. And the eye face palettes, they actually only come with three eyeshadows and then two like face products. Sometimes they're used as like eye products as well and they're in bigger pans. So I was sick of just kind of like, you know, moving between five different palettes to kind of get an eyeshadow look that I wanted. So I depotted all of those. There's quite a few. I want to say I have at least 10 of their eye face palettes and so about 30 depotted shades, give or take, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but there's quite a few of the Dick of Scarlet ones. And then I also have single shadows from like Terra Moons and Makeup Geek. There's at least like 30 to 40 like single shadows that I have in my collection as well. Question number two, what brands do I typically purchase from? There are a couple that like, to me, I really like supporting more of a smaller brand like Terra Moons or I just recently purchased from Davina Cosmetics and I also like to purchase from Butonomy. Those are like my main ones, Terra Moons, Davina, and Butonomy. And I have purchased some single shadows from Makeup Geek as well. They make up quite a larger stash of my collection, but most of them I really like to focus on not very well known brands, not ones that are talked about a lot and then I feature them on my channel, whether I create like an entire eyeshadow look, an entire eyeshadow palette, or I just use a single shade and like, you know, add to whatever eyeshadow look I have going on, that type of thing. But most of them are independent brands, not very well known, get their name out there. They have great quality shades and shadows. Question number three, how do I like to store my eyeshadows. So recently I purchased a whole bunch of magnetic pans to be able to store my single shadows and they were all from Shop Miss A. So this is one of the ones that I have here. I actually have a whole bunch like behind me here that I have purchased from Shop Miss A. These are like super inexpensive. I think they're maybe five dollars, maybe not even that much. And they are, they have a magnetic pan right here. So you can either put like a uh, it's like, it's like a silver disc on the bottom so that it magnetizes to the palette or they already stick into it like some of these singles do. And then it comes with a really nice, pretty full size mirror that I like to use for my makeup and all of my Shop Miss A eyeshadow palettes have that. They all have that mirror in there. And look how cute the packaging is, like so pretty. This one's flowers. I have some ones that are like metallic. I do have like a black sleek pretty one that's like black and gold and this is the one that I'm using right now for all of these single shades that I'm using for the month of December in my shop my stash rotation so I do have like a whole video on how I curated what's in here and then also my shop my stash so go check those out on my channel I can link them for you guys in the eye the only other way that I really store eyeshadows is in my Makeup Geek 9 pan magnetic shades. So this is like their 9 pan one that they have for their round singles. I have a lot of their round singles, which is, they're still available on their site. I actually pulled one of the shades from this palette and I put it into the larger palette for the month of December. This is just one where you can pop out the singles anytime that you want and you can switch them out with other things. So if I'm only looking for a 9 pan palette that I wanna work with, 
most of the single shades that I have will fit into this palette. So I will use these every once in a while to store my singles as well. Question number four, do I have more of one type of shade or color? And I would have to say most of my single shadows, I tend to go toward more of a like duochrome or a multi-chrome type of formula. As far as like the actual color, I mean, this is the curated palette that I have. So it is kind of like a mix of pastel -y greens and some purples. I would say that the majority of my single selection I think is mostly like purple or like on the purple side or like on the neutral side, but I've been trying to add in more color to the single shades that like I just can't find anywhere. So like again, pulling out this Makeup Geek palette, it does have some neutral shades in here and it also has some like burgundies and some reds. I do tend to lean more toward a burgundy or a red, but honestly, when it comes to purchasing single shadows, I like more of the duochrome formula and I tend to purchase more of those. You can't find a duochrome or a multi-chrome in eyeshadow palettes like ever. Question number five, do I prefer pressed singles or loose powder? <laughs> and I guess you guys can already tell by the look on my face, like I don't like loose anything. I do not like loose singles at all. And it's like a powder consistency. I don't like those. They just tend to get all over the place and I feel like you are much more wasteful with a loose powder shadow than what you are with a pressed powder shadow. Question number six, what is my favorite single shadow that I own? And it actually comes from Terra Moons Cosmetics and it's called Dark Matter. It's actually a duochrome. It is this one right here. And this is my favorite duochrome shade because it shifts from a blue to almost like a red color. That is my favorite overall out of all my single shadows. I think question number seven, what is my least favorite single shadow? And I have been playing more with a single shadow from Makeup Geek. And this single shadow is actually in an, a Manny MUA eyeshadow palette that he collabed with him a while ago and it is the color called Aphrodite and it is like a browny purpley tone. I don't like this tone like at all. It's very hard to blend out so when I actually put it on my eye it's very hard for me to use and blend out. It's like super patchy on my eye. That one is my least favorite so far out of my single shades. There are some in like the Deco Scarlet like depotted ones, but when we're talking about single shades that you can buy just as a single, that is my least favorite. So super patchy on the eye, really hard to blend out. I have it in this makeup palette that I am showing you guys, my holiday curated one that I created. And it, I mean, it is a great addition to this palette, but I really just don't like it because it, it's kind of hard to blend out. Question number eight. Do I have any tips for depotting shadows? And I think the number one tip that I can give anybody is patience. Take your time when you're depotting eyeshadows. And the second thing kind of like in correlation with that is make sure you watch like maybe a couple of videos before you start depotting your eyeshadows. So I started depotting again my deck of scarlets and i just didn't have patience for it and I ended up breaking some of them and i was not very happy with myself because some of them were like the shades that i absolutely was like in love with so patience is like the number one thing that you need to have when you are depotting any any type of eyeshadow palette so question number nine why do i depot shadows and the biggest reason why i started depotting some of my shadows was because i was so sick of reaching into five different palettes to create an eyeshadow look this is mostly with my my um this is mostly with my Deck of Scarlet palettes. They come with three shades on top, which are eyeshadow shades, and then they come with two like face shades. And I found that when I was using these, it was just way too hard to have five different palettes on my desk and do my makeup that way. So I depotted all of my Deck of Scarlet eye and face palettes and ended up making it so much easier to do my makeup, seeing what colors I had available from my Deck of Scarlet garlic collaboration and part of the reason why I did those depots was because I wanted to see <laughs> how similar some of the Deca Scarlet shades were from like palette to palette. I actually ended up doing like an entire video to show you guys like some of these eyeshadow shades are exactly the same 
and they were collabing with different creators for one of a kind shadow so that's part of the reason why I depotted them if I'm going to depot a palette it usually has to do with the fact that like maybe I'm only using one shade out of that entire palette and I want to put it with other singles that I would use with it so that would be the only reason why I would depot an eyeshadow. The only other reason why I would depot an eyeshadow is if it's magnetized in and it's really easy to remove and then put back into place in the eyeshadow palette that I pulled it from. That's the only time I really depot eyeshadows. So question number 10, do I have any tips for not neglecting my single shades. I definitely have to say when it comes to my single shadows, whether depotted or bought, I really like to at least incorporate one or two of my single shades into maybe an eye look that I am doing. So like if I want to use a regular eyeshadow palette that's already been pre-curated, pre-made, you know, arranged together, I'll take like, Maybe I want a sunset looking eyeshadow. So um, maybe I'll use this color here. Or if I want something that's a little bit more red and like I want to use a foil, I'll use candied apple. Or if I'm using, if I want something for like a halo eye, like what I have going on today, I'll use like snow globe or glacier, what is it? Snow globe and the other one is powdered sugar. Powdered sugar powdered sugar or I'll use snow globe and those will be like the halo eye or the inner corner or the brow bone highlights. These are actually technically highlights for your face but I use them as eyeshadow palettes because of how pigmented they are and they have a tint to them so like I would never use this as a face highlight. It is primarily for doing my eyeshadow so like if I'm using let's say stone cold fox and that is a cool toned palette and I want to add a little bit of color to it I will choose a single shade to go with it to create something that's a little bit more so incorporating and purchasing single shades that will be like an addition to your eyeshadow look is definitely like how I recommend you not neglecting your single shadows another way that you guys could not neglect your single or depotted shadows is by looking at popular makeup releases going on right now, taking a look at your single shadows and seeing if you can mimic or recreate that new release of an eyeshadow palette without having to go out and buy that new eyeshadow palette. Kendra Morgan does this a lot on her channel. She will actually take an eyeshadow palette that has been newly released or is like coming up to be released. She'll go through all of her single shades and she will dupe it. So if you do that with the single shades that you have, then you can save some money, you can use your single shadows, and you can create very similar, if not the same looks from some of the new releases that are coming out in makeup. So if you had a choice to choose either all of my singles for all of my palettes, which would I choose? To be honest with you, like I love my singles collection, but it's not like in a vast, huge collection. I have more eyeshadow palettes than what I do actual singles. And I think, honestly, I would keep my palettes over my singles. I do love singles and I love being able to curate my own eyeshadow palette. The only thing is, Right now, my singles collection really isn't much of, I mean, I have quite a bit, but it's not enough where I feel comfortable like completely getting rid of all of my full eyeshadow palettes because there's still full eyeshadow palettes that I don't have in my singles, if that makes sense. Because of the type of consumer that I am, and I really like to purchase more of those one-of-a-kind single shadows instead of like, you know, run-of-the-mill shades, that is why like, my singles collection is a little bit different. I have mostly duochromes. I have mostly like rich foily shades. I don't have a lot of mattes. Mostly it's like foils, rich duochromes, rich foily shades that add to my regular palette collection. And that's why if I had to choose between one of the two, it would definitely be, I would choose my regular palettes because I have more variety in those and they suit my personality more. If I had to choose like, one brand to stick with for like the rest of time it would definitely be Terra Moons Cosmetics. I love their formula. I love like the richness and the, the pigmentation of all of their eyeshadows from their foils to their duochromes to their shimmers. They're, they're on par. They're so good. Question 
Number 12, why do I like to purchase single shadows? I kind of answered this like in an earlier question where I like to purchase my single shadows more for adding to my collection instead of being like, oh, like I purchased like a whole bunch of mattes and shimmers to create my own eyeshadow palette. That's not really what I buy singles for. I buy singles more for as like an addition to my eyeshadow collection. So a lot of the shades that I have available to me are dual chromes or they're like shimmer shades. And those are the types of shades that I really do like to invest in. There are some like Butonomy glitter shades that I have, but they're like a glitter, also an eyeshadow. So they're not just glitter, they actually have like an undertone to them. So this one is Comet from Butonomy. And as you can tell, it's not just a glimmer shadow, it actually has an undertone to it. So it's not a clear, clear, or you know, translucent glitter, it actually has an undertone in it. I really like to invest in single eyeshadows that just add to my collection, not something where it's like, oh, I could build like an entire eyeshadow palette out of these. Now I did build one for, you know, December, 2020, that's in my shop, my stash. I did build one like that, but mostly when I use single shades, it's just for the purpose of addition to whatever eyeshadow palette I'm using. I buy a lot of shimmers, I buy a lot of dual chromes, I buy a lot of like rich pigmented foils because there's other matte formulas that I can find from like ColourPop that are really, really good. So I don't feel like I need to spend the money on like a single matte eyeshadow when I have like maybe a whole palette full of mattes from ColourPop that I can buy for like $30 instead of buying an individual shade for five bucks a piece. Very unique, very like hard, not hard to find, but very unique, very much of a standout color, very much of an add-on color, like something super, like it's just a statement eyeshadow, if that makes sense. Statement eyeshadow. I'm gonna, like, that's gonna be my coin phrase from now on. Statement shadows. <laughs> That's all the questions that I have for the single eyeshadow tag. If you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. Go check out Kendra and Marta's videos with the single eyeshadow tag. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Or my outer shadow than what you are with a pressed shouter. Shouter. <laughs>